It's the great debate. After all the hype of EVs and with our own federal government and some state governments pushing them hard, if they are the future and they are so great, why do more than 40% of EV car owners reportedly want their next vehicle to be a ICE vehicle? Today we're diving into a surprising or perhaps not so surprising trend. Many EV owners are making a U-turn back to gas-powered cars. According to a recent S&P Global Survey, nearly half of EV owners are opting for gas-powered vehicles as their next ride. Are people second-guessing their electric cars? Are EVs really the future of transportation as some say they are? Let's uncover the seven startling reasons why EV owners are considering a return to gas-powered cars. Reason number one, the reliability riddle of EVs. Many drivers switch to electric vehicles, EVs, for their promised simplicity and reliability. With straightforward powertrains, fewer maintenance needs, what could go wrong? On paper, EVs should be more dependable. However, reality tells a very different story. Consumer reports found that EVs cause 80% more problems than gas-powered cars. Battery performance and charging issues top the list, followed by frequent infotainment and software glitches. Reason number two, home charging hurdles. Charging at home should be convenient and cost-effective, but that's not been the typical experience. The standard level one charger is too slow for most EV owners, prompting many to upgrade to level two units. Yet a JD Power study showed a drop in satisfaction due to rising electricity costs. The Energy Information Administration reports that the average residential rates increased from 13.72 cents per kilowatt hour to 16.21 cents in October 2023, a 10% hike. Throwing in a little comedy into the mix, somebody produced this meme saying electric vehicle owners should only be allowed to charge their cars using wind or solar power. Otherwise, it's just pretend. Reason number three, public charging problems for those without home chargers. Public charging is the only option, and it comes with its own set of challenges. While urban areas have decent networks, suburban regions simply don't, making long-distance travel very tricky. On the subject of public chargers, even the fastest public chargers can't compete with the quick refueling of gas cars, and charging costs can easily match or exceed those of gasoline. Plus, public chargers are known to malfunction. Reason number four, the high cost of repairs. Post-crash repairs for EVs are expensive. Research from CCC Intelligent Solutions shows average repair costs for EVs are 56% higher than for traditional cars. EVs require specialized repair shops and trained technicians, which can be hard to get a hold of. Materials like aluminum and the complex lithium-ion batteries add to the cost. Reason number five, insurance implications. Insurance for EVs is very pricey. Full coverage for a Tesla Model X and costs up to $4,000 a year, double the market average. Even more affordable EVs like the Tesla Model 3 and the Chevy Bolt EV have higher insurance costs than gas-powered counterparts. Factors include the high price of EVs, expensive repairs, and the fire risk from lithium-ion batteries, leading insurers to declare total loss much more often than with traditional gas-powered vehicles. Reason number six, the range worry. Man, this was a big one. Range anxiety remains a major issue. Some are saying that it's only the first 15 minutes that are enjoyable to drive an EV because you spend the rest of your ride anxiously looking for a charging station. The charging network is still underdeveloped, and most EVs can exceed 300 miles on a full charge. Real-world performance often falls far short of manufacturer estimates, and fast chargers usually only fill up to 80% of the battery storage capability. Cold weather and heavy use like towing further reduce range. For example, a test by AAA showed a F-150 Lightning's range dropped by 24.5% when hauling just 1,400 pounds. Reason number seven, the price and depreciation dilemma. Despite discounts, EVs are still a lot pricier than gas cars with an average cost of over 53000 15% more than the average car in 2024. EVs also depreciate faster, losing about 50% of their value over five years compared to 39% for gas cars. For example, a Tesla Model S depreciates by 55% in five years, while a Toyota gas-powered vehicle typically only loses 25% over its first five years. With these reasons in mind, it's no wonder many EV owners are returning to internal combustion engines. For those of you who are in the market but are struggling with getting the proper homework done before you step into a dealership, 
Consider going with our hassle-free car buying service and save yourself some big bucks and big headaches and avoid all the hassles of dealing with car salesmen and dealer finance officers. There's a really big reason Stuart does so well for us on the car deals he does for the homework guy. Remember how we told you that an average car salesman does 12 to 15 car deals a month and subsequently has a ton more experience at this than you do? Well, experience is the reason they often win. In Stuart's case, he easily does three times the number of car deals per month than your average good car salesman does. Again, it's an experience factor that car dealers and their sales staff just can't beat. For those of you who believe you can go it on your own, consider visiting our website, thehomeworkguy.com, to get Elizabeth's assistance via the help desk style memberships. $24.99 for email help and $49.99 for faster help by text. That's also good for 30 days of black book values, contract reviews, and general good car buying advice to help you out. If you want to talk to me, you can ask all your questions during a 45-minute phone call we have for $99 available on the website. We can talk about strategy for you to do this on your own, or we can talk about how you can get hooked up with Stuart. He's our in-house homework guy-style negotiator, and yes, he can do it all for you. Consider what I said earlier. Stuart beats the dealers because he does three times the volume of car deals that a typical good car salesman does. Put his experience in your corner and have him work for you. While you're on our website, sign up for show notifications directly from us by clicking on that yellow button for content notifications, and you'll never miss a thing. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to our longtime followers, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, signing off on behalf of the Homer Guy team. Thanks for listening. 